Morning, everyone. It is a nice warm day. It's about 9.15 a.m. We're out prospecting. Uh, we're testing out some tributaries that flow into a river. This river has high-grade copper. Uh, we have done some XRFs on some of the material, high gold as well, and some silver. So the copper, uh, the highest one we did was about 27%. Uh, gold was at about 110 grams per ton, and silver was maybe 30 grams. Um, so we're testing out the tributaries today. We want to see if there's anything else that was kind of overlooked or missed. We're off the claim boundary. First thing we found was by a new culvert. This material is from the bank behind the culvert. Really oxidized stuff with uh, some nice looking pyrite. So this was from the first sample we pulled out. This is a uh, scarnified rock. A little bit of limestone in there. And some decent pyrotization. Not 50 meters away from where that float is. We found a new kind of culvert thing that was dug out. And we're finding more scarnified rocks. Like this that are oxidized. And we found some bedrock exposed right here right along in there and you can see where it's oxidized we hammered it out and uh, these are the samples we're pulling out so pretty decent mineralization on those I'm gonna hammer a few more out for a sample and then uh, do a detailed search of this area So just so you have an idea, my truck's down there by the culvert. The showing is over here. About 25 meters farther, you have this quarry that was just taken out. This was not here last year. And you can see lots of oxidization over there. Over there, this is just so, so deteriorated. Uh, just crumbles between your fingers. Lots of scarnified rocks in here. Lots of oxidized ones. Hammered a bunch open. And uh, some of them are just so deteriorated. I think the, the pyrite has kind of gone through some weathering. And uh, I have found some. And you can see quite a bit of mineral in there. These are heavily pyrotized. A couple more here. just over a kilometer away from that quarry. This material here, this rock is pulled out from that quarry, exact same rock. And what I think is as you go deeper into the ground, you get more and more mineralization. So they pulled out this rock to build a bridge, which is right over here. And this is all the stuff they didn't use. You can see Disseminated pyrite all throughout, really coarse pyrite. And we're just finding hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of samples like this. On the way here, we also passed some nice quartz carbonate veins. There was nothing in it, just plain old quartz carb, but it does show you that there's hydrothermal activity in the area. So I think we may be on a fault, um, and the road follows the side of the fault. So lots and lots of samples like this. Here's a couple more samples that we found by the bridge. You can see just loaded with pyrite so interesting geology in the area definitely has potential for something 
big, especially with all the other showings down in the river. As far as I know, this zone has never been explored that we just checked along the road. Um, at least there's no mention of it. We're sort of off the old claim boundary from way back in the 70s and 80s. So here's another side creek that flows down in. This is uh, right beside where they built this new bridge that I'm standing on. So if you take a look down there, you can see that rock there. You can see all the quartz carbonate veining through it. So if you hammer it, you see stuff like this, little bits of pyrite. And uh, this is actually really common down in the main river way down there. And uh, we're actually quite a bit lower than the showings in the river. Um, so I'll give you a little brief history on the showings. Th those were actually discovered when they were sluicing in about 1923. Uh, they found copper sulfides in the sluice. 1965, they were all ready to, to mine this. There was 275 meters of exposed showings with an average grade about 4%. And uh, then the junior mining company lost funding. So it's been explored a little bit sporadically since then. But uh, as far as I can tell, nothing in the last 40 years until us. We're going to be spending a, a fair amount of time here this year throughout the summer, which is mainly when you can get to the showings on the, the river. So down there in the river is where he found this piece here. We're just on a side road here and we're uh, chipping away at this exposure of rock here and exposure of mineral. You can see just how oxidized it is and you have small stringers and veins up to about 10 centimeters running through this of solid iron pyrite and in all the fractures of the rock, you basically have thin layers of pyrite and you have pyrite mineralizing a good portion of the rock as well. So we pulled a couple samples, one from a, a five centimeter wide vein, that's from a uh, float rock, and this is a chip sample. So here is where we pulled the sample, this right here is just solid iron pyrite with a uh, small little layer of quartz carbonate. You can see all your iron sulfides there. And it looks like it's getting a bit bigger as it goes back. So there's a few of these. You can see there's another small one right there. You have another one here. Another one right here. Lots of little stringers. And uh, this vein over here continues all the way up to the top and runs all the way to the ground underneath the side of the road. This is pretty cool. They just quarried out this. And uh, this is an old road. Look at how massive this quarry is. Loads of oxidization, loads of pyritization disseminated through all the rocks. Uh, little stringers of uh, mineralization. And loads and loads of horseflies and mosquitoes. Uh, we've actually continued on about two kilometers now. Same rock type, same everything. Just loaded with mineralization everywhere. Like the whole entire road is like this pockets everywhere of sulfides I think there's something massive here so we're on another 100 meter stretch where we can find very oxidized rocks like this it's a granitic like rock I don't think it's actually granite um, looks like it's been altered hydrothermally but you can see here just pockets and pockets of sulfides you hammer the rock open and there's these pockets that just fall apart and ooze out of the rock so we found probably close to 50 60 of those 
um, over the span of two hours. So lots and lots. There's another couple up there. They range from a centimeter or two up to 10 centimeters we've seen. So something definitely is going on underneath this.